Um, uh, I would have found it on YouTube itself. So I was looking around at different, um, uh, I was applying for different jobs and I was looking at different questions that might be asked and I was looking at interview questions along with, uh, being into IT anyway, so I usually come across these videos. So I started coming across your own then when I, when I was looking directly for uh, career based kind of uh, skills or uh, interview questions or anything like that. Okay, and uh, when you started um, looking at videos and everything, uh, what kind of IT education you already had before uh, our training? Uh, I would have, like, um, uh, like I said, I did an A plus about 10 years ago. So I, I, I built my own PC and that sort of thing. And uh, I was kind of the IT person in a small office. But I was okay. mostly doing web-based stuff there. I was mostly um, WordPress and that sort of thing. But I would also, uh, oh, yeah, you know what to do. So something wrong with my Outlook, you know, can you do something with it? So I Some of the basic, basic stuff. Okay, good. Yeah, I'd turn um, it on and turn it off again and turn it on again. So. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, and most of, the, most of the issues, you can restart the machine and, and here you go. You got, you got a good thing. So one thing is I want to, um, I ask every member of our live members that, uh, what took you too long to go for the live training? What, what, what why, uh, you know, you were in this watching our video. Did, did you just went in there, start uh, taking the live training or did you do your research before you take the live training? Yeah, well, it's, it's like anything. Um, I, I have no problem spending money on something I, I think I get benefit of. But the other thing is like, uh, I only seen, seen you on YouTube and I seen that you offered the live training, but uh, I didn't really look into it for a while until I saw more videos and then I saw that you're putting out videos nearly daily at some stage or, or I think you still are um, yep. and uh, and then I could see that the videos were going from five years or more um, so when I saw that okay they're around for a while um, and yeah. I could actually I could search you up and say like if you were you know uh, not above board say so yeah because of most of our videos if I open the YouTube right now because this is going to be a recording a lot of people made this uh, where's the link right so if you look at it, our channel has been there for a long, long time. Oh, we're about to hit 1,000 videos, by the way. I just noticed that. Wow. Look at this. Yeah. 1,000 videos. <laughs> so yeah. now um, another question I want to ask you uh, is that let's, let's take us on day one uh, before the training. The feeling of like, let's say uh, day one to the last day. Uh, what do you think now? Like, did you learn anything from this live training? What would, what would be your um, kind of like a review on this basically? What, how does this give us that from day one to last day is anything that you think that's really helpful for you? This live training was helpful for you or whatever, whatever you think. Yeah. So the way I uh, have it is before I, I did this, um, I didn't, uh, I, I had a good overview of everything. Like, um, I know you were asking me questions there earlier on and I, was, I wasn't too sure about, you know, I was thinking of cloning when you were saying imaging and then it was, it's more or less kind of the same thing, but not, mm -hmm. but um, uh, essentially like I had the overview, had a, an idea how things work, but when uh, taking the training with yourselves, um, essentially like this is what you need to know. Uh, this, is, this is how it works. And, and this is what you need to focus on. Because before that, um, I was jumping into Active Directory, and then I was jumping into hypervisors, and then I was jumping here, there, and everywhere. And the problem mm. was I wasn't focused at all. And I, ah, because okay. I was jumping all over the place, I wasn't really getting anything. So that's why when I actually got the job, I was kind of, okay, I don't really know what I'm going to be doing when I get in there. I'm pretty confident that when I get in there, I'll be okay, but they, they might suss me out straight away and say, look, get out, you know, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> but... Um, that that that's essentially it's the focus that you give, you give in here is what ah, I was and that that's a very good point right there. That's exactly uh, yeah. it's kind of hard to explain that to someone who's brand new to IT because they have not experienced what you have experienced because you are already in a situation where you're jumping around. You're saying and you needed that focus, but um, it was not clear to you, right? Nobody tells you that, right? Yeah. And when you take this training, there are certain things that we do in our training that we're telling you that you know. Hey, member, this is your skills. Let's not move to that because that's another level right there, right? So we kind of make that, that clear distinction be between skills that is going to be for you and skills that is going to be known to you, but you don't need to actually get in there, right? Yeah. So it makes it very easy for our learners to then be very focused 
Um, but we all know that. And then we also uh, tell people the reality is that uh, when we are doing this live uh, review with you, we are also telling you that, you know, it's just a starting, right? This is phase one. You still have to finish some of the other things to really completely finish this training, which we want to, we don't want to give a wrong or, or false information to people that, oh, but in five days, you, we are going to make you an IT professional. That didn't happen, right? No. But again, an example of that would be like, say, Active Directory. So I've, I've seen videos on YouTube and um, people adding people to Active Directory and then unlocking their account. And you go, oh, well, that's simple. And it is simple, but it's not simple because everything else works with it. So, um, And then when you get that overview, that helicopter view that you give, then you start poking them to see um, are you actually getting it or not. That's, that's, the, that's the kind of focus that I'm talking about. So. Yeah. And in terms of confidence, what do you think? If you see an active directory in your current job, when you start uh, going over there, are you going to be confident or what, what, what's your thinking right now? Yeah. I, like, I'm going to be, I'm going to be able to go in and if they're going to ask me to do add a computer or add a user, uh, unlock an account or reset password, whatever it is, like uh, I'll be able to do it. Um, okay. I'll be able to look at the, I'll be able to go into the active directory as well. Uh, now after doing this and seeing, okay, well, this is connected to here and these are the domains and this is what's going on. So I can actually get a lot of information just looking at Active Directory. Um, awesome. That's awesome. Um, and another, another, a lot of people are confused with when they go for trainings and I'm sure you probably would be the same way. Is, is this just theory? Is this somebody talking or is this real, real? Like you touch things. How, how is that out? No, no, it's, it's, uh, you give us a, a, a VM server, so like, uh, and that, that's something as well. That I was kind of wanted to play with too. So uh, that's that's a proper server, uh, and then exactly. after that, you can actually do imaging and the whole lot with it. Like, so it is. You uh, you you give us um, show us how to do it first. Even today, I had to actually log in myself, and then uh, I share my screen, and you're telling me that do this, do that. What to do? Yeah. And then, mm -hmm. and then, can you answer this question and that question? And, and that's the sort of thing that actually um, uh, wires in the information more than just learning something and then regurgitating. You're kind of mm -hmm. learning something, and then you're going, okay, well, how do I figure this out again? Especially if you're using a different system. So you might be using yeah. VMware, but you know, um, Hyper V might work the same way. Yeah, and, and remember with the practice lab, these are all real equipments in the practice lab, mm. uh, which is another like, you know, thing that when you do your training with us, we're also teaching you on the practice lab, some of the things Ali was teaching you. So that's also real equipments right there. Uh, so mm. both of this combination really works for our members and our training because we don't want to just do theory stuff, right? This is a lot of hours right there. And I'm sure people are not going to go back and just watch the videos. They really want to do things. Yeah. Um, and and in, in terms of practicality, we tell people that we are also looking for people who are very dedicated and commit, committed to do take these trainings. Do you think that's a correct method to approach people? Because I don't think people who are not committed can really do this stuff. I, I, I that's how I personally feel. Um, uh, yeah. If, yeah. It's, yeah. It definitely depends on the person. So again, you have to be interested, which is why, why I was anyway, if someone's not interested in taking the course, like, you know, um well there's not real much point is there so like again that you kind of have to um either be looking for or getting a job in it or you want to go further up okay so a few last questions right here um how did you uh what would you rate our uh, the trainers that were involved in with you i know you had two two different trainers do you think that was uh, helpful to you not just one trainer sharing experience so how did you feel about that Oh yeah, I thought that was good. Yeah, um, I know they were doing different things. Uh, Ali was there, and then um, uh, Hadi, Hadi, Hadi. Um, yeah, so he went through the three six five stuff with me. Um, but yeah, but it's nice, like, cause um, obviously, uh, you're there and you do the bulk of it. But uh, yeah, you have to give you a break, cause this goes on for. I know you put down two hours, but it can go yeah. on a lot longer than that. So. <laughs> I don't yeah, and in, and in this training, we have done a little bit changes because of the ticket method and that kind of bring down to more uh, kind of more focused training rather than talking a lot. So we kind of did a little change in here, which is more focused. Now, another thing about you is that a lot of people may not know in terms of and I will have to put that in there. You already got the job, right? Yeah. And I'm not going to put where you are, what's your name and everything, but you already got the job. Is, is this something you want to share with people that, you know, uh, you got the job with what kind of experience and you're taking this because you want to be what you want to learn more about the real world situation, right? Is that, that's your main point, right? 
Yeah, essentially. So my, my experience would mostly be with, uh, you know, building up websites and that sort of thing. Um, um, I was always interested in building computers, fixing computers, that sort of thing. But this, this is different. And when you're going into a production environment, yeah, yeah you, you know, you're not going to be changing graphics cards every day. You're going to be, well, a user's going to have a problem and you're going to have to go and fix it. And that's usually a software problem or it could be a hardware problem. Um, so essentially, I didn't have experience on that end. So that's why it's coming to yourself. Yeah, that's why I wanted to actually ask you because the title I want to put for this video, and I'm, this is going to be in the live too, is, is I want to actually put a video where landed a job without experience or have minimal experience. Hmm. Would that be a correct title? Uh, I'd have minimal experience, say. So yeah, minimal. I could I could fix the computer before, um, you know, or put in, not fix, but like I could upgrade a computer, I could put in RAM, I could put in uh, graphics cards. But when it comes to a corporate environment or a company environment, I had no experience, zero experience. So we, we just recently started this because one of the thing is that I'm also involved with, uh, we have a lot of other YouTube friends and we also make this idea pretty uh, common in the, in the environment that we're telling people that you should go out there and apply to interview level positions and most likely, some, most likely you're going to get rejected, but there are going to be people that will hire you. Now that's one thing I want to ask you, but do you think people should have a little bit of training before applying to positions like that? Um, it, it'll definitely help when they get the job, but even if they, um, the, how you phrase your CV and um, like I, I, I would have been good at it that way. So again, um, yeah, maybe not, uh, we won't call it lying, but exaggerating the truth maybe. Um, so, but when you actually come through the training here, uh, you're probably more or less job ready then. So again, when you go for the interview after you've got your CV and that sort of thing, what you call a resume over there, isn't it? Um, yeah, um, yeah you're, you're going to actually be able to answer the questions because when I was in the interview, like I did have some questions that I was able to get through, like, you know, uh, but if mm -hmm. you've, um, if you're, if you're not really that way inclined, like um, you, you kind of need to do something like this here to get you by because they did ask about Active Directory, Outlook and stuff like that, so. Yeah, and, and uh, well, that the, the, you you touched a very important part right there. That is CV, like you know, don't put something that you cannot defend then, and or don't put something that's going to be too ex extra exaggerated when you go to the job. So then you can really, really not do more, most of the things, and that comes out to be negative on your part, right? Mm -hmm. So the the even people can land. My suggestion to people is yes, they can land a job and everything, but you know, after landing a job, this is what exactly. Uh, you're a perfect example for the people like that. When you even with little bit, even a minimal experience, even with a little bit more training experience, you're still going to have that initial stress on the job that you don't know yet. So this training helps you kind of lower that stress, but we never, never claim that you are going to be super confident when you go to work, right? We tell you that you're still going to learn on the job, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, this is just, a, this is um, basically get you ready. Um, and that uh, you're not going to um, hide in the toilet for a couple of hours before <laughs> if someone's asking you a question. Exactly. So overall, are you satisfied with this training? Yeah, it was great. Awesome. And do uh, you think that was the, the amount of money that you have paid was, is it uh, justifiable? Oh yeah, because it's going on for another, well, another uh, three to six months or so. Like, and then I, I have access to all the labs as well. So when, when I get into my job then and I can, I can see where the ladder is, say, uh, I can actually yeah, start yeah. focusing on different, um, different labs and different um, projects then to see if I can get my skills up and then go for them. Perfect. Thank you so much, Thomas, for giving me all this information. I really appreciate it because this is the stuff that really uh, we try to tell people, but the problem in the in the in, in the internet world is that, of course, people want to know if this is real, not scam or something.